So guys, welcome to another video. Um, part two of the renovation of this Shetland. Um, as you can see, I'm inside the cabin, um, and progress has been slow over the last week or so. But I'm gonna, I'm starting, I'm carrying on now, and I've got, we've got a few more things to do um, in this video. So I'm gonna get the inside of the cabin door painted and the outside. So that should be all done, all in that grey paint. Um, I did have a few comments about that paint saying it's not the right one so I'm going to have a look at that and I'll give it another coat of anything else if I need enough any more um, and then as you can I'll, let, I'll show you but out here there's the handrails like I said that I'm going to paint them I think I might stain them um, I had some mixed reviews on that whether to do it black or whether to stain it but I think I'm going to go with the stain in the end so I'm going to do that in this video and I need to tidy in here as well and I haven't decided what to do yet with these cushions because as you can see they're very dated um, this is one of the ones that folds out into the make the double bed if you can call it a double bed um, I don't know whether to completely make some new ones or get some new ones reupholstered or make good of what's here for now and get some new ones later at a later date so i'm not sure about that one i've seen some people get some leather paint and paint on these to make them a different color so i could make them white however it, i'll show you in a minute there is some wear on this one so i don't think that's going to work um so i might have to make some new ones but nevertheless we'll crack through this stuff and yeah the boat is still floating and I've used it a fair few times so thanks for watching this video again and let's crack on with it so I'm going to start off here um, I'm in the cockpit area I've got a roller and the paint and I'm just going to be painting start off by painting this door on this side because this is the only side that hasn't had any coats at all um, I've only got an hour or so down here um, but I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you the handrails which I'm also going to do and I'm going to take this screen off for the dirt, like I said in the last video, so let me get outside and I'll show you that. So as you can see, I just done the first coat on the door, um, and I gave it a little run over on the other side as well. I suppose you could call it a table. It flips out open, like I showed you in the last video. Um, but the mistake I made is I had my brush sitting in the water because I haven't been it for the last week or so, and the roller. So then when I came back and then I tried to paint it, it, it was running as you can see, and that's literally just because it was sat in the water, and when I used it i didn't get all the water off even though i thought i had so i was just trying to get it as flat as i can so then the next coat i can do it when the brushes are dry and it shouldn't run as much and then the finish will be just as good um i've got this down here under the seat it's like the seat support um i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm going to do with it yet um because originally i said i was going to paint it gray um but i actually quite like the um, the wood on this originally it was too much of the door and everything but now I'm thinking maybe if I paint this section here grey just to the chair um, and leave all this if I just paint that top bit grey it will look a lot nicer because that's just like your drinks holder or whatever your keys or your phone or whatever so I was thinking if I do that um, that would look a lot better I, when I finished, started painting this, I realised, and you probably saw me get out of the boat, <laughs> I forgot that I now can't get in there because I can't open that door. Luckily, I'd left the hatch open on the front to get in, so that's kind of through there. But that's all done now, so I'm going to just give this a coat on here, um, like I said, and then I will probably take, uh, probably take off the handrails for today. Then I can take them home and stain them, and you'll see all that. So, yeah, let's get that do that done. <laughs> Alright, so what I've done is I've given that the first coat 
I've just paint, literally just painted that bit. I haven't painted the underneath or this side. Um, literally, it just looks a bit nicer, I think, on that side. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do it, and it has come up quite nice. So we have a second coat on there, second coat on there. Hopefully tomorrow, um, some point in this steering wheel, and then this outside bit. We've leather detailed all of this, painted that. This wall wants another clean, um, another clean back here. Let's touch that again. But in here, it's pretty much here and there now once that's done. And then we've just got the stuff to do on the front and then the cabin. So I'm gonna put a photo of something that I saw in the cabin. So just as a bit of a perspective for you guys um, to see what I wanna do in here. And there's a bit of a visual, a visual Vis visualization of everything that is my goal in here. I originally said about painting this, um, but I'm gonna. I'm. Th I'm more thinking about some grey carpet now, um, the headliner or whatever they call it. Um, obviously, I want to get rid of this blue, and I'm probably gonna carpet all the way down. When these new cushions are in, I'm looking at. Uh, Long term, I would like them like a light or dark grey. Um, I'll put a photo on screen now of how I envisage this whole thing. Hopefully you saw that. Um, but anyway, we're going to get down to... Obviously, I can't do any of that stuff now. But I'm going to give these a coat of light grey. Obviously, you can see the inside of the door. It's probably the first time you've seen it sharp. <coughs> Uh, so we're gonna give these lights done here, um, and then that's a lot of the painting done now. Um, obviously, if I decide to paint this white, I've got that to do. I'm not sure whether to do that as a headliner or not, but I will get back to you when I've painted that. So let's go. Right, so I've done that bit. Um, what I had to actually do with this bit was bloody tape it up because otherwise I was getting it. I still have a little bit, so I have to clear that off, but yeah, they're not the easiest things to paint, but it looks a lot better like that, um, and that will tie in a lot better with everything that's going in here, although I've got all my fishing gear in there at the minute, because we're going to do some perch fishing in the next couple of days, so look out for that video, because I've got some fresh worms to, oh no, I drip paint, I must clear that up, but yeah, I've got some fresh worms to do some perch fishing if you're interested to keep your eye out so the end goal with this area is i'm gonna actually i think what i was thinking is to have a bit of kitchen worktop there almost um i don't know whether it's possible to put a little obviously it's possible but i don't know whether it maybe put a little sink in there or i don't know obviously there's this area here which all the shipments have as well which i filled up with stuff just for me working on it but in here if I open this up, that lifts that up, and you've got even more storage area in there. Um, so you could have a little sink in there, but we'll play it by ear for now because there's a lot of growing there at the minute. Um, but I was thinking a headline around here, like I showed you in that photo. Obviously, this needs a good clean. Um, it's still quite warm in here, even at this time of the day. And then get rid of that blue, like I said. I don't know what I'm going to do down there. I guess I'm going to have to repaint it white. Um, but it's like the smallest amount of white, so it's quite annoying. Um, but I can do it with this if I paint this white. So, yeah. Let's crack on with the handrails. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm back down here again. I'm going to polish these. I'm going to take this duct tape off and polish these to get these marks out before I put these handrails back on, which I've got here. All stained. So I'm going to polish them up with the new pads I've got on the
Right, so here it is. I have actually not managed to get the darker bits off, which are actually under the wood. However, I've polished in between them, so this means that when I polish the whole boat, I haven't got to worry about um, get, getting under them and taking them back off. So that makes it a bit easier, um, just so it doesn't look odd if I haven't polished them bits. But I've done these, got these handrails here ready to go back on. I've done them with teak oil, so they're a bit darker and they look a lot better. Um, I'll put the link to the teak oil in the description. So I'm going to get these back on now. So it's in fact the day after. Um, it's a bit sunnier today, like it was yesterday actually. Um, we've had a good weekend for it and I've got quite a bit done on the boat. So I've actually started recording bits for part three of the Shetland, um, which you'll see probably in about a week after this video. Um, but I've put the handrails on now, so I'm going to go around there and I will show you how they look. And yeah, they look a lot better and they've brightened up the front of the boat, so I'm going to show you that now. So yeah, here are the handrails, they've definitely come up a lot better and definitely brightened up the front of the boat. So yeah, definitely worth right, the time. So thank you guys for watching this video. We've got a fair bit done in this video, to be honest with you. We've done a lot of the painting um, and I haven't actually decided. I might give that another coat. Um, but we've done all the handrails and made the front of the boat look a lot better um, and all the outside to be honest with you um, so next video we'll get some of the decals done um, and get them looking nice with some new ones and maybe give the cabin a go with the carpet um, so thanks for watching if you got to this point in the video please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one which will be out in about a week